It's pretty easy to set up Grammarly for Safari for your Mac and for your iOS devices. In this video, I'll show you how. Hi there, my name is Brian Collins, and I'm gonna presume you already have Safari installed on your Mac and you're using it as your browser for your iOS device. So firstly, let's do this on a Mac. Open up the Apple App Store and you're gonna search for Grammarly. Make sure you find the official Grammarly app on the Mac App Store, not one of the other grammar checkers, and either install it or open it on your computer. It'll only take a few seconds to go through this exact step. Next, click on the Opens setting to enable Grammarly, and it should prompt you to go into the Extensions setting in Safari. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you tick this particular box here. So Grammarly for Safari is activated and then turn on. Now you should be able to use Grammarly in Safari once you've logged into your account. So I'm gonna go ahead and log in. Once you've logged in, you will get a prompt like this that will explain how Grammarly in Safari will work. So basically you're just gonna look for the G icon or logo uh, whenever you're in Safari and writing something. <clears throat> so I'm gonna click, click, go ahead and continue to Grammarly and it'll take me to the web app of Grammarly where I can access all of my documents and writing inside of Safari. So I've gone ahead and opened up Gmail in Safari. I've pasted in some text with a typo and you can see here that the Grammarly icon appears in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. If I click on this, I can immediately access the grammar checker and check my emails. So basically look for the Grammarly icon or number wherever it is that you're writing across Safari. So if you use Grammarly for Safari on your iOS device, the process is pretty similar. Open up the App Store on your iOS device and then just search for Grammarly. And then you should look for the official version. So once you've installed Grammarly, it's gonna do two things. So firstly, you'll have the Grammarly app on your iOS device, and you can simply click on open to activate that. So I click on open here. You can see that I can access all of my Grammarly documents quickly and easily on my iPhone or on my iPad. But similarly, I can open up any app on my iOS device, including the messaging app, type as normal. And then if I want to access the Grammarly keyboard, simply click on the icon on the bottom left of the screen, change the keyboard from English UK to Grammarly, and then I can press the G button to find and fix typos in my messages, WhatsApp posts, and so on. Now, depending on your iOS device and version, you may be prompted to enable settings uh, on the keyboard settings area. So simply go to keyboard, then go to keyboards, select Grammarly, and make sure allow full access is enabled. So if you don't see Grammarly on Safari or on your iOS device for some reason, this is probably why, so do look for that. And suffice to say that this will work on Safari as well, so you can see the Grammarly icon appears just below the search bar. 